everybody, you're watching Shasta's Journey, and my name is Shasta Garcia. Sit back and be inspired. On this episode, we are talking to real people with real stories. I have Carol and Lynn on the show, and they are um, teachers at a community Bible study here in Calaveras County, and we're going to hear everything that God is doing in and through them, and just how he has been so faithful throughout their lives. And I'm just really thankful um, for their willingness to come on the show and share their faith and everything that is done in their life. So thank you guys so much for being on the show. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to share about community Bible study. Well, it's my pleasure because sharing your story is, it's not always easy, but it's worth it. <laughs> just like following God. You know, yes. it's not always easy, but it's worth it. Yes. And just to get this, uh, clarify everything, this is Carol and this is Lynn. <laughs> so when I address them, we, we know. Uh, so you are the um, director of Teaching, teaching director. Uh, and then mm -hmm. you're the um, associate, associate teaching, teaching director. Teaching director. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, well, I, I think one of the most important things to start off by doing is just kind of introducing yourself to the viewers so they know um, just your position and your role as a unbeliever and servant of God. So, Carol? Well, I, I have been the, the teaching director with this Bible study for about 10 years. And when I came to know the Lord, it was through the Bible. And when I read the Bible, and that's how my faith grows. And so when I heard about community Bible study, I was thrilled, and mm -hmm. I became a part of it, and here I am. That's amazing. And then how about you, Lynn? Well, I started um, a community Bible study in 2008 as a member of one of the small groups and was asked the next year to um, be a small group leader. And then God called me three years ago to be the associate teaching director. So that's when I stepped up to um, that to that role. Mm -hmm. So it's been wonderful to be a part of our Calaveras County class and to just um, watch people's faith grow and to mm -hmm. be a part of sharing God's word with them and, and helping them see how it can transform their lives. Absolutely. And I know you guys are both a powerful and dynamic duo together, but I also know that as individuals, you know, God has worked uh, through you guys throughout your suffering and your trials and your tribulations to get you guys both together on the same path in order to impact those around you. And I think one of um, the most prominent moments in a person's life is really starting at their childhood um, because that really kind of like sets the forefront of, you know, who you mm -hmm. end up becoming. Uh, so kind of what happened um, throughout your life um, of just some like just pinpoint moments that have really grown you? Well, I'll say that I did go to church my entire life, but it was not until I was in my 30s that I saw, I opened the Bible. I don't know why, what I heard before, but when I was um, introduced to the Bible and, well, how God, um, salvation and born again, I had never heard that. I don't know where I had been, but when I did hear that, that's what I wanted. And I've grown since then through God's Word. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Was there ever a time where you maybe took um, the Word of God for granted? I think I did before I ever really looked at it. But when I realized that I can see it for myself, you know, I didn't have to have someone telling me mm. or preaching to me, but I can read for myself. I can see God's Word, and, I can, and that's where He speaks to me is through His Word. Through that, have you seen uh, an influence or a change in the way that you listen to other people's perspective of what um, God's Word means? Well, I, I feel like the way that we do this, the way we do the Bible study, is we all do the study at home on our own, and then we come together and we're all sharing how God has spoken to us personally through that week. And that's where you hear so many different perspectives. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful because it's all God's Word. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And Lynn, I'm sure that your um, trials and tribulations that you've been through have, you know, obviously been a little different from <laughs> and Carol's. So um, what does that look like in your life? Uh, I was raised in the church. Um, my family always went to church. My husband's family always went to church. I came to faith when I was 12. So that was a time when I was able to declare my faith in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and move forward from that point. But 
Um, I was not, again, like Carol was, I wasn't raised in a church where they really taught you to seek out God's Word. And when I finally had that opportunity, it was just very eye-opening and just very exciting to be able to open God's Word and study it and see what I'd missed the first part of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and going through some really difficult years in my marriage, um, it was God that got me through those and got us through them because... Um, we had some really years that we struggled. I kind of say that at 10, we, at 10 years we were in trouble and at 20 we were done, but that God had a different plan. So um, through what he's done in our lives, we've now been married almost 52 years. Wow, and to just be able to share how Jesus got us through day after day after day when we didn't think we were going to make it. Mm -hmm. So the miracles are out there. You just have to keep trusting and putting one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful testament testimony of like what God is capable of doing. Mm -hmm. How do you think that reading the Bible and really digging into God's Word saved your marriage? Just being faithful and trusting that God would do what He needed to do. Uh, my prayer for so many years was, Jesus, I don't know why I'm going through this, but you must have something better for me down the road, so just get me through today. Mm -hmm. And so at this point in my life, which is many years later, I've been able to reach out to other people and meet them um, at their point of need. You know, if we don't have something, if we aren't vulnerable and we don't have something difficult that we've been through that we can testify to how God brought us through it, then we really don't have something that's alive that we can share with somebody else. It's not made up. It's my story. I lived it, and I can oh, share amen, it. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> you can't like, argue with it. <laughs> I know. I love that so much because that's exactly what Shasta's journey is all about. It's real people with real stories, and nobody can say that it happened or not because yeah. this is your guys' yeah. life. And it's such a true testimony of just who God is. And even the Bible, don't get me wrong, let's like get some Bible verses out. But the Bible even tells us to share our story. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I came to community Bible study, I had been working, so I'd not had the opportunity. So when I finally, when we retired from our work and we were able to do it, mm -hmm. it was a joy to be able to come and to really see how God is faithful in His mm -hmm. Word and that the things that I knew all my life, you, know, you see it written in God's Word, and you know that there's truth there, and that's where truth starts is with God's Word. Mm -hmm. Carol, when you first mm -hmm. recognized the truth of mm -hmm. God's Word, because that's the only truth, right, mm -hmm. really, how has that transformed um, you into the person who you are today and also just kind of formed your framework? It changed my life. When, when God's Word opened my eyes and my heart, I was like, I couldn't, I, I, I was so different because I was excited about God. I was excited about being a Christian, and I still am. It's been many years, and I still love God's Word. I love Him. Do you have any techniques when it comes to reading and analyzing our Bible? I mean, it could be just as simple as opening up your Bible. For, for those who haven't really studied the Bible, what are some tips that you think that people can go about doing it? Come to community Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, because we open the Bible. We don't. We don't talk about our churches. We mm -hmm. don't talk about denominations. Mm -hmm. People. Some people don't even go to church who come to the Bible. Some people come and they don't. They don't even have a Bible. They go out and buy a Bible so that they can come. Mm -hmm. And so they they're changed. They they tell us how much they their means to them. Mm -hmm. um, and what does, uh, Lynn, what, what does the whole community Bible study consist of? We have, um, it's one morning a week for eight months out of the year from the beginning of September through the end of April. And it's Thursday mornings in Calaveras County. We gather for a few minutes as a group. There's about about 50 to 60 adults right now. Wow, that's incredible. And we incredible. have a children's program of about, what, 25 to 30 children. And they're also included and they also learn as we learn and then we go into our small groups and we share about what we've learned over the course of the week and then after that sharing time Carol for the most part gives a short lesson on kind of wrapping up what we've learned over the course of the morning so that's what the public sees is that two-hour session on Thursday mornings we have fellowship times where we gather and just share our stories with each other and around some some food and some good times and um, so it's good. not all study and in the course of that you know as we study God's Word we share 
with each other how we do it. Mm -hmm. And that's one way to learn, too, is to pick up tips from other people, um, mm -hmm. to not have such high expectations when you study God's Word that you fail right away, but to just to be open to what you find there. Mm -hmm. I think that you bring up a really good point. Uh, so let me go ahead and just talk to uh, Carol for a second. When it comes to reading the Bible mm -hmm. and um, just with the whole perspective change, what do you think is the most important thing that you have learned? I, I know the Bible is filled with lots of different things, but what do you think like is just like the, the golden rule? What I feel like I've learned a lot, especially this year, we studied a, a study called From the Red Sea to the Jordan River. And what we did, we saw God's faithfulness as he led his people. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've, they've failed, they failed over and over, but God was always faithful. And I've learned that God it can be trusted mm -hmm. and that when things happen that are not what we would like them to be, God's in charge. Yeah. Was there ever a pinpoint moment, Lynn, in your life where you knew that, you know, um, being a part of this community Bible study was exactly what you were supposed to be doing? I think even from the beginning, because I was able to relate to people, mm -hmm. and it was one other um, opportunity to share my struggles and how God brought me through them, and studying God's Word and seeing the truth of what I lived and how he was faithful and being able to share that. You know, to claim a scripture as my own and then to mm -hmm. see God walk me through a difficult time um, do with that. Mm -hmm. And I know that for myself, for a long time, my life verse has been Jeremiah 29, 11, which a lot of people claim, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, mm -hmm. plans for a hope and a future. And our whole move to Calaveras County was very, um, in a way, confusing. There were a lot of mm -hmm. things going on that had to come through, and I just trusted that. Mm -hmm. And it took us a while, but we got here, and, you know, I can just see God's hand in my life over the years, and Community Bible Study has been a part of that, that leading me here, that I wasn't ready to be a part of Community Bible Study mm -hmm. when I may have wanted to come many years before. Mm -hmm. But He matured me and raised me up and um, to a time when He was ready to plant me mm -hmm. there. It's all about the journey of life, mm -hmm. really. You know, mm -hmm. there's times where you go on these different paths, and along the journey, there are some benches to sit down for a second and ponder, yeah. but there's also times where there's rocks and yeah. boulders, and you fall over, and it's, you know, that, that's a whole part of the journey. Yeah. One of my favorite verses is um, Proverbs 3, 5, 6, mm -hmm. and I'm probably not going to quote it exactly, but it's trust in the Lord with mm -hmm. all of your heart, mm -hmm. um, and He'll make your path straight. And, yeah. and that's something that I live by, because I, I know that, you know, God does have a designated path for us to be mm -hmm. on, and if we stray off and do our own thing, you know, but he does have a perfectly narrow path mm -hmm. for us to follow and to walk throughout a journey of life. And I, I think the community Bible study brings up this really, really, really important topic of being a part of fellowship. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that a lot of people, including myself, have taken for granted, um, you know, along my walk of a purpose with God is being around other um, people who are believers, you know, people who practice their faith but don't necessarily go to church. Mm -hmm. And I think community Bible study is a great way to be a part of fellowship. And that's one of the things that community Bible study really makes us, sets us apart from other Bible studies because we have shepherding. Mm -hmm. And each, each group has a core leader and that person is their shepherd. And for the, that entire year, they make contact with them every week. They pray for them, and they are their shepherds. Mm -hmm. Staying accountable. Mm -hmm. and, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a very valuable thing yes. to have. I think that we should all have somebody in our lives that can mm -hmm. make us yeah. accountable. I know God makes us accountable, but sometimes you just need oh, yeah. an extra little push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as the community Bible study goes, uh, Lynn, how have you seen this um, particular outlet that God has been using how have you seen it transform the lives of the people around you? Um, there's one woman in particular um, that I met outside of community Bible study in a totally different area of my life, and her she had commented one day that she wished, you know, she said, well, I'd read the Bible if I could understand it, if I had one I could read. <laughs> so I pointed her to the New Living Translation, mm -hmm. which is, you know, sometimes the translation is a stumbling block for people. And I've heard I, that a lot. And mm -hmm. I invited her to community Bible study. And this is a woman that was about 75 years old. And she came to community Bible study. She studied 
God's Word. She came to faith in Jesus. She was baptized a few years later. And, you know, it's just amazing to watch. And if I hadn't met her in something totally different from community Bible study, because we all have a lot of circles of friends that we have mm -hmm. outside of our church or, or Bible study. And it just gave me an opportunity to invite her into one of the areas of my life. And God used that opportunity and changed her life. So it's just a, it's a blessing. We don't always get to see the part that we mm -hmm. play, but every once in a while he shows us a little bit and keeps us excited. Yes, it's a blessing to see, yeah. you know, how God is using you to transform mm -hmm. the lives of others. And it's important to see that though, so you know that what you're doing is really having yeah. an eternal impact in the kingdom yeah. of God. And we do have um, testimonies sometimes in the morning. Mm -hmm. We let them, we ask them to share Wonderful. what it's meant to them and what God means to them. Mm -hmm. And that's very special and very powerful. Yeah, absolutely. This might be kind of a personal question, but considering that you guys, you know, do spend so much time and, you know, prepping for the Bible study mm -hmm. and, you know, really feeding in the lives of others, mm -hmm. how do you guys, like, do you guys spend personal time, you know, um, that's not necessarily for the community Bible study, but really just time in your own, you know, time with God with reading the Word. I, I discovered that about 10 years ago. I had a friend took me on a, um, a three-week prayer walk, and she said one of the things you need to do is you need to, to agree to spend an hour with the Lord alone every morning before we start out. Mm -hmm. And then we would share during the day. And I did that. And within three weeks, I cannot let my life go without a, an hour in the, or hopefully an hour in the mornings with, with the Lord alone in his word. And um, it's wonderful. I'm waiting for the day that I do that. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I'm the type of person that would read my Bible at 2 a.m. in the morning. Well, and that's be perfectly fine. Right. I mean, that's fine, you know. But that's why the Bible study is so good, because some people who are not used to that... Mm -hmm. They, they pretty much need to do it to have that time to be in God's Word, to be at, when they come to the study, to be able to share. Mm -hmm. And what are you guys studying right now, Lynn? We're going to be studying the book of Acts. We'll start in September. So that will be an exciting time back you know, in the New Testament. We try to alternate Old Testament and New Testament each year. Mm -hmm. So we're on break now. Um, mm -hmm. We'll start up again the first Thursday in um, September. And where first, did you say it was again? It's held at Foothill Community Church mm -hmm. in Angels Camp. We're not affiliated with the church, but they are kind enough to let us use their facilities. Oh, that's wonderful. To meet there. And we'll be spending 30 weeks walking through the book of Acts and um, seeing what God is going to show us and mm -hmm. how that will impact our lives. That's incredible. And you actually mentioned that the community Bible study is not just here in Calaveras County, right. but... Um, just about everywhere. It, it's international now, mm -hmm. actually. And you know, it was so exciting how we were able to bring it into Calaveras County. If I have time to share, um, there were, uh, in 1999, 2000, there were about eight ladies who went over to Sonora because community Bible study was in Sonora. Mm -hmm. And they let us have a room Every day, every week, we were there every week, and we met together, and we prayed that God would bring it to Calaveras County, because that's a long way to go every week. Well, so, I know. I go to school. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a drive. So um, at the end of that year, they told us that we could be a satellite of their group, mm -hmm. So we, but we had to find a place to meet, so we found Foothill Community Church, who at that time was meeting in the Veterans Hall. Because they were building a building, but they oh. said that we could meet with them. So we were going to start. We had coffees throughout the year or throughout the summer and invited people. We had a lot of people coming. And about two weeks before we were start, we got a call that the building was not going to be finished. And mm -hmm. we thought, what do we do? And do you know the pastor at the church went and met the pastor at the church, the little church in um, Angel's Camp, and arranged for us to meet there. So we were a satellite. So the group leaders, every Monday night, would go over to Sonora to meet with the leaders. And then they would come on Tuesday morning, or no, they would come on Thursday morning and someone would bring the video of the teaching director who would present the, pro the teaching. So for a whole year, we were a satellite. And then wow. at the end of that year, we had a, a teaching director. And um, then we started. And that's it. Been 
We've been there. Well, we've been there. We were there for a few years, and then we did move for a couple years to the First Baptist Church in Angels Camp. Mm -hmm. Then we moved back. We outgrew that, mm -hmm. and now we're back in um, Angels Camp. And I want you. I want to do to make sure you know that we do have a men's group, oh. and we have a young moms group now, and we have children. A, a children's department. A children's ministry. Yeah. I need to get involved. Yeah, we'd love <laughs> to love have you. With kids. You would yeah. be so welcome. Well, thank you so much. And how can people contact you if, if this is something that they're interested in being a part of? Well, the number is going to be on the screen, mm -hmm. my number, and you can certainly call me and I can let you know how you can mm -hmm. um, become a part of it. It does. There is a $35 fee, but we okay. also have scholarships. And what does that qualify? Like, what is that for? That provides a, a, the study book. Oh, we have okay. a study book. So it's for materials. Yeah, it's for the material okay. because everything else is volunteer. Mm -hmm. Is it like an annual fee or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like I say, we have scholarships mm -hmm. if that's a problem. So we don't want anybody to not come. Yeah, money is not an issue no. or a problem no. <laughs> to no. prevent you from studying God's And we word. have people coming from all over Calaveras County mm -hmm. to Angels Camp for the class, which is exciting. And many of the children that come are homeschooled. So that's why they can make it on Thursdays oh, okay. during the day. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a, and then some of the kids go to public school and the the moms come without them when they get that age. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it is really a blessing to be able to reach out to so many families all over the county. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm not sure if you'll know on hand, but Shasta's Journey plays in Modesto and Stanislaus mm -hmm. County as well. Do you know if there's a Bible study group over there? There is one in Turlock. Okay. Perfect. That'll be good to know. Yeah. And Sonora. And Sonora. Yeah. Well, I'll have to attach something on the Shasta's Journey Facebook page for all of you guys and on the website so, you know, people can get more information and know exactly mm -hmm. when it is and yeah. where it is. Well, Calaveras County CBS does have a Facebook page Perfect. and also a website, so perhaps those could be linked together for you. Yes, absolutely. We'll go ahead and make sure to do that. Yeah. And Carol, when it comes to whole international uh, community Bible study, are you guys all studying the Acts, or is this just no. a Calaveras County thing? No, each group gets to study. They choose what they want to study. Oh. And so... And what um, made you guys choose Acts? I personally wanted to study it because a few years ago we studied Luke, mm -hmm. and we finished Luke, and it just seemed like it would, it would come right after that because it's what Jesus has done um, and, and, and with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's taken us this long to get back because CBS recommends that we go back and forth from the Old Testament to the wow. New Testament and then a gospel. Mm -hmm. So that's, we've chosen yeah. Acts for this year. My church recently went through the whole book of Acts. So really? Yes. And um, I definitely encourage you guys to go and learn yeah. just because... Yeah. It, there's a lot, but it's so tangible mm -hmm. and it's so needed if you want to be a servant of God and if exactly. you want to use your gifts and everything that God has given you to impact the kingdom of God right. and expand it. One thing I'd like to mention about the way we study, too, and that we don't talk about churches or denominations is that many people have had a difficult time in their relationship with God or in their with the church. So when we open God's Word in community Bible study, we never share, we never go down those roads. So mm -hmm. each person, it's a very safe place, it's mm -hmm. non-judgmental, they get to come and study and see what God is teaching them, and they don't have to um, worry about somebody else trying to um, draw them into their, mm -hmm. another church. Mm -hmm. they, they just come, and, and we just don't go to those other places. Mm -hmm. We just stay focused on our on what we're there for. That's incredible, because I, I always say that to people, about you know, faith is more than just a religion. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. It certainly mm -hmm. is. It's not about standards and things mm -hmm. we have to do, but it's, exactly. it's a relationship with God. Yeah. And God is love. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Yes. I, the pinpoint moment where I truly understood that was when I saw um, Dios es amor, in Mexico mm -hmm. at the orphanage that I serve at and that was just like mm. everywhere around the world no matter you know how you're raised in your faith or how you live out your faith but the, like the number one thing is that God is love mm -hmm. and, and that's all and that's all we're called to do we're only yeah. called yes. to love yes. you know we're not called to be perfect because we are totally imperfect yeah. but you know right. with God we can still you know be an impact and expand the kingdom mm -hmm. of God as your guys's positions you have such an incredible opportunity to mm -hmm. impact those around you. I know. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's humbling. It's very yeah. humbling mm -hmm. to know that you're giving out God's word. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. From that, just from you know reading the Bible and seeing how God works, what does faith mean to you? And if you could put God into words, what, what would you say? I know that's a really difficult thing to do. <laughs> faith for me is trusting God, that there is a God and He loves me and He knows best. Mm -hmm. And it's trusting Him with, it, with my life. Mm -hmm. And Lynn, how do you stay so faithful and stay so humble and um, just so centered in Christ to become the woman of God that you are today? Because of what he's done in my life, you know, I have tangible evidence that he is faithful and does what he says he will, mm -hmm. will do. And I know that there, it's not always easy to follow and it, it's not always going to be easy, but he always promises that he'll be with me through whatever I have to go through. And that has been, has been the absolute truth in my mm -hmm. life. So I don't expect life to be perfect or easy even, mm -hmm. but I know that he will always be there and that he has my best interest at heart, even though I might not be able to see it. Mm -hmm. And if I stay in his word, and I also try to read other authors that, so I can sort of grow my faith in other areas by reading testimonies and other people's stories mm -hmm. and how they approach life, approach the Christian life. That helps me a lot too, mm -hmm. to build my faith. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Carol, when it comes to your journey of life, how have you seen God be so faithful along your path to purpose? It seems like everything in my life that I go through, He's there, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, God, yes. I, I just know He's there. I know mm -hmm. He's with me. I know He loves me. And I just love him. You can tell. Uh, you're just so authentic and so real. You can, like, see a light, like, you know, and, and, um, in you as well. You know, you can just see that God is working in the both of you guys. And we only have about two minutes left, but um, you guys can go ahead and contact them if you want to know more information at 209-795-7008. And we only have a few minutes left, but, um, Lynn, is there anything that you want to share with the viewers just to um, just give them a few words of inspiration before we go ahead and say goodbye? Yeah. Well, I think one of the things is just to encourage them to seek God's Word and to seek God and to not be afraid that um, whatever they may have had as far as a relationship in the past with God that they might be afraid of or has been difficult, not turned out the way they wanted, mm -hmm. to um, step out in faith again and just really seek God because He promises that if we seek Him, we'll find Him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And what about you, Carol? Um, what was the question again? <laughs> oh, I was just so just a few words of inspiration for the viewers. <laughs> Just a few quick words of inspiration. Is there anything that's on your heart that you would like to well, share? Well, the one verse I was thinking about is how faith comes from hearing and hearing through the Word of God. Mm -hmm. So I would just recommend, I would encourage anyone who might want to study God's Word, just be in His Word to um, let us know. We would love to be with you, meet with you. That's wonderful. Well, I just want to thank you both so much for taking the time and just your willingness to share your story on Shasta's journey. Thank you guys for sitting back and being inspired. I hope that you guys were taught, healed, or inspired. And I want you guys to share your story because it's so vitally important to expand the kingdom of God. So go ahead and do that, Shasta'sJourney.com or Facebook at Shasta's Journey. We'd love to hear your story and see how God is working in and through your lives. And I hope you guys are abundantly blessed. Bye, guys.